Hello everybody, my name is Ilya Malkov and you are on Astrobath. Astrobath is not a place, it is a space where I charge my Astro batteries and share that energy with you. Today is the beginning of July and after a series of uh, cloudy days uh, with windy and rainy weather, absolutely demoralizing uh, weather for every astronomer and astrophotographer, uh, we have uh, clear skies, a wonderful uh, cool summer night with stars and uh, without any moon. And uh, uh, today I plan to continue my testing of this Astro Stop uh, with Gem uh, 45 AC mount uh, with encoders, QHY uh, 268M camera with uh, filter wheel and my uh, new purchase of uh, the camera uh, and uh, off-axis uh, guiding uh, device. Uh, the camera is uh, uh, 178M uh, uh, QHY and uh, uh, fo electronic focuser by ZWO all connected to this uh, SCAR 500 uh, Petzval uh, quintuplet astrograph. Uh, so the device, uh, the whole setup is powered by a, a 12 uh, volt uh, battery and uh, it is here. Uh, the battery is by, is created uh, using AGM technology and it is uh, uh, acid, uh, lead, lead acid uh, battery but uh, it uh, doesn't contain a liquid uh, electrolyte, uh, it has a gel inside the battery, so uh, uh, there are no uh, vaporing uh, gas and uh, it is uh, more stable, uh, producing 12 volts. I also use this uh, Intel NUC, uh, NUC, NUC uh, P mini PC uh, running uh, at 19 volts I have uh, purchased an adapter from Aliexpress and it creates uh, 19 volts out of 12 uh, volts volts and also uh, the mount is connected uh, to the PC uh, it will be guided using this off-axis guide uh, also why have I chosen this off-axis guiding uh, device uh, it uh, produces more accuracy while guiding and this camera has a small pixel size so I hope that I'll get the top level accuracy uh, using uh, this uh, refract uh, telescope and also using my Newtonian telescope that has a 1000 millimeter focal length. Uh, also, uh, I plan to use uh, a reducer of uh, focus uh, with the telescope. Uh, the focal reducer uh, has uh, the ratio of uh, 0.7. It uh, makes uh, a 350 millimeter uh, focal length out of uh, this uh, refracted telescope. It also uh, makes it f3.9 uh, 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 focal ratio uh, making it faster uh, so the question is what target have i chosen uh, for today uh, the target is well known and popular it is right above our heads in summer it is uh, ngc uh, 7000 called well known as america north american nebula and uh, it is uh, in the constellation of Cygnus and uh, it was uh, discovered by uh, William Herschel in uh, uh, 1786 uh, when Herschel was about uh, 47 years old and uh, it has been thought that uh, the distance to this uh, nebula uh, about uh, 2000 light years or less but uh, the distance to this nebula is uh, uh, 2600 light years and uh, uh, it is uh, 
a cloud of ionized gas, uh, the region of star formation and uh, uh, it is ionized not by the alpha of Cygnus, uh, not by the nap, but uh, by some uh, star that is behind the nebula. And uh, it is an interesting thing because it uh, became possible only uh, with the modern, only with the modern uh, telescopes. And uh, I also plan to, uh, and I hope that uh, I'll catch another target that is uh, called Pelican Nebula. Uh, it is a bit uh, closer to our solar system and the distance to it is about uh, 1800 light years. It is also uh, the clouds of the nebula, the clouds of ionized gas. So I'll use uh, H-alpha uh, uh, 3 nanometer uh, filters by Optolong and RGB uh, filters uh, for the uh, for the color, <laughs> for the color image, for coloring the stars. And uh, so let's start our astrophotographic session and uh, I hope that I'll have time while my telescope is collecting those uh, uh, photons from our Milky Way because uh, this uh, target is allocated in, the, in our galaxy in Milky Way right above uh, my head. 